Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can sync messages and announcements from the message center in Microsoft 365 with Planner. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Uh, this video probably just makes sense for those of you who are uh, admins, uh, Office 365 admins. And the reason for that is uh, I'm sure if you're an Office 365 admin, have a global you know, role within uh, you know, uh, your organization, uh, you're probably used to getting all these different emails from Microsoft every time there is a new feature released. Uh, um, you pro probably receive these emails daily. Um, uh, and um, anytime there is an update, uh, there is uh, uh, some sort of feature announcement, uh, improvement, improvement being made to any of the applications, you get an email. And it's quite frequent. Uh, and all of those messages also uh, accumulated in the message center accessible from Microsoft 365. And, you know, in some cases, it just might be beneficial to kind of follow up on specific feature. Maybe you want to do a bit of testing uh, in your environment to make sure it's not really going to affect you. Maybe you want to, um, you know, roll out some sort of training to educate everyone about, you know, a particular feature that's been released on, uh, you know, one of the applications like SharePoint, Teams, etc. Um, so what uh, you can do, um, uh, and it's pretty much a feature that's available out of the box, you can sync it with Planner, all right? A Planner, of course, is the task management tool that we have in Microsoft 365. And the reason why um, it might make sense to uh, sync it with Planner is because in Planner, right, uh, it's a task management tool, so you can assign it to different people. Um, you can follow up, set deadlines, so you have more, much more flexibility than um, you, uh, you know, pretty much just have over here, where, where you just uh, read the announcement and that's pretty much it. You cannot really, um, you know, do any task management on it, or follow up or assign it from this interface. Um, so that's essentially what we are uh, going uh, to do. Uh, to do that, uh, like I said, we will need to sync with Planner. Now, what I recommend first before you click this button, uh, Planner Syncing, uh, let's go ahead and create a plan. All right, so I'm going to head over to uh, Planner uh, and you need a plan, all right? Uh, you, you know, you need a plan to exist. Uh, that's where the plan we're going to sync to. Uh, so I'm going to create a new plan uh, and um, uh, give it a name, all right? Microsoft 365 uh, message uh, center. Uh, announcements, all right, uh, updates, all right, whatever. Uh, now, I'm going to, uh, obviously, I don't know what your situation is. You would either create a new, you know, plan or maybe even a new group, uh, right? But in my case, I want, I already have a group that I created. Maybe you want to add it to an existing Microsoft 365 group. Maybe you already have one for IT, uh, et cetera. I have this group that I already created before. So I'm just going to add it to uh, one of the groups right here. You see, I created a special group uh, to that will only maybe have the members, uh, you know, all the IT people, so I can assign uh, those different um, those different updates, you know, uh, to them. All right, so um, I'm creating a plan. Again, you know, in your situation, maybe it's a brand new group. Maybe you are going to add it to an existing group, uh, like I, I just did. So here we go. Uh, the plan has been created. I am now ready to uh, sync to it. So let's go ahead and do just that. Uh, so we'll click the planner syncing and you just pretty much follow uh, the prompts, right? Follow the wizard uh, and you search for a plan uh, right here. You know, <laughs> this was the plan I just created, but obviously you can type it in and, you know, see if it comes up. Here we go. Here's my plan. Uh, and uh, it's asking me which bucket I want to put it in. Um, in my case, let's, you know, keep it simple, but let's say you know, you create a few buckets, maybe the one that says, you know, synced from uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center, maybe another bucket, um, you know, uh, of, um, uh, I, I don't know, tasks in progress, you know, whatever the buckets are in your situation. Uh, so, you know, in my case, I only have one bucket. All right. And, or you can create a new one, you know, right on the fly uh, and hit next. All right, and then it's going to ask you what it is. You know, there are a few settings um, you can uh, configure here. Uh, do we want to sync all updates or just major ones, kind of major announcements? Uh, let's go for all updates. Uh, and then 
you know, which categories, all right, we want to sync. Um, again, you know, this, you know, comes down to the announcements being released. Sometimes it just stay informed announcement. Sometimes it's, you know, plan for a change. That's a big one. Again, let's just sync it all. And then uh, another beauty is that you can also sync only specific applications, right? Let's say you only care about, you know, SharePoint announcements or something like that, right? You don't maybe care uh, about, you know, some other uh, applications. Again, let's go for the whole thing, but you can check and check the boxes as necessary. All right. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. All right. Uh, uh, that's pretty much it. We, you know, the last thing we have here, I guess, we can set up, you know, how far we want to go, um, you, you know, we want to go back. Uh, let's just say, you know, we'll go for the three, whatever, uh, weeks, right? Uh, last 21 days and um, hit next. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. It just kind of summarizes everything and you click finish. And uh, that's all, all right? Uh, now, the way it works, the way it works, all right? Let me actually, um, um, this is what I want to talk to you about, but let me uh, hit done for a second. Uh, so let's go, I think it might take a while for it to be synced, let's see. Oh, here we go, no, it did not. It, uh, it's pretty much instant, look at this. This is it. All of this uh, announcements, um, I've been synchronized right now to my uh, planner. And if I click on this, you see it kind of uh, nicely, you know, populates all the information, the title, the body, right? And um, if there are any particular attachments. Uh, and of course, because now it's on Planner, right? I can organize it and say, all right, this one is in progress and I want to assign it, you know, to different members of my team. I can move this task to a different bucket if I want to create a new bucket, etc. Uh, let me show you something else, all right? Uh, so, um, if I click, so we just set up the sync. If I click on uh, Planner Syncing, uh, so the way it works is that you always have to manually sync. All right, so I just synced it today. Let's say, um, you know, obviously over the next few weeks, uh, Microsoft will release a bunch of new announcements. I will need to come here and press the sync button to, you know, sync again. All right, and bring all the latest announcements. All right. Um, if I want the automatic syncing, all right, if I want automatic syncing, I will need to create a Power Automate workflow. And it's as easy as just pressing this button, all right? And then um, it's all out of the box, all right? You don't even need to go to, um, you know, Power Automate workflow. Um, you just, you know, specify, answer the questions uh, when you want to start and how uh, frequently you want to, you know, uh, for this workflow to run. Maybe I want to check every day, every five days, whatever, and then, it, you know, create uh, the workflow. And then behind the scenes, the Power Automate workflow is created. Again, you don't even need to go to Power Automate, uh, you know, uh, uh, or anything like that. Uh, and, you know, let's, I'm not going to, uh, I guess, uh, create a workflow, but you get the idea uh, behind the scenes, it's going to create a workflow and uh, it will pretty much sync everything for you. Uh, manually, uh, automatically, I'm sorry. And then if for whatever reason, right, um, you want to stop this, right, you want to stop, um, you know, uh, you know the, the whole sync, sync thing, you just say stop sync. And then um, what's going to happen is um, it's going to stop uh, copying everything over to your planner, but it's not going to delete any existing messages, all right, any existing tasks, whatever you assign, this will pretty much stay here it's a one-way sync very important right it's not a two-way sync whatever you do here does not uh reflect anywhere else uh it's a one-way sync but let me stop it for now uh that's pretty much it uh and uh again the tasks uh, are still staying here all right so that's all i really wanted to show you i think it's a nice feature that we have uh for those of um you for those of us who are global uh, microsoft 365 admins uh, i think right with hundreds of messages here uh, in the message center, sometimes you just need to maybe follow up on some and maybe set, schedule some training, assign them, you know, to different users for testing, etc. So this is obviously a very nice way to do so. Uh, that's all I really wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.